Hey there, gamer guys and gals. Are you ready for Thunder Flash? It was developed by Seep and published by Redelica Games on consoles. And you can get 10 men, and if you struggle, it's going to give you 15, and if you still struggle, it's going to give you 20. I like how it's got the RAM uh, thing here, like you were loading an emulator. It's got regular arcade game, and then it's got uh, also survival, sort of like Horde. And you play as, you can either be Rock or Stan, and uh, you can play it alone or with a friend in co-op, but I think it's local co-op only. That sucks, as I would have loved to play this with some people. And it, if you loved, if you were around during the NES days and you loved Contra and uh, Jackal and uh, Akari Warriors, stuff like that, you're going to love this. It, 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 it borrows from every one of those great classic games and puts them all into a big pot and just makes one badass game that uh, you're going to enjoy. And uh, it's got easy achievements. So if you're struggling and you... Uh, can't beat it all without uh, dying. Like I said, you'll get the extra man. And if you still can't do it, you can load uh, chapter select and you can pick up right where you left off. So it's going to be an easy 1,000. You can probably get all the 1,000 in probably 30 minutes. But uh, the game will reward you for playing it from start to finish with how, without having to pick stage select. So uh, it'll give you a different ending and things like that. So it's definitely worth trying. It's got all the cra classic shots and stuff like Contra, the spread shot, the flamethrower. It's got some really, really cool bosses. Uh, the helicopters, tanks, uh, things like that. It's just a really, really fun, alone or with someone. Either way you play it, you're going to enjoy it, especially if you love those old NES games. If you didn't, it may not be your cup of tea, but I really don't see anyone not liking this game. It's just so much fun. It's pretty simple. It's not overly difficult, but it will give you a challenge if you're trying to play it from start to five without start to finish without dying. Uh, the bosses are awesome, as you can see here, and uh, you can get extra men and you can pick up health along with the weapons. I just re I really had a good time with it. Uh, it really took me back. Uh, I can't wait to play it some more. I can't wait to play it with someone. I have to wait till somebody's over here because, like I said, it's just couch co-op. But uh, I definitely want to play it again. It just it, uh, it covers so many different different t games, in my opinion. Like uh, you're, there'll be parts where you're flying, and it's sort of like one of a shoot space shoot 'em up type deal. You'll see it here in a second. There's uh, motorcycle scenes where you're driving motorcycles. There's boats. There's just so much different stuff. It like it's not one dimensional at all. It like changes up its play style over and over and over. And it really copies, I don't really want to say copy, but it really emulates a lot of really classic uh, NES games. Uh, the characters are cool. You know, the story is pretty badass too. I don't know, just everything about it's awesome. I had such a good time with it. Yeah, I was, I get, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I gave it. I gave it an 8.2. I almost gave it higher. I think if it was, uh, a little bit longer I may have gave it a, a little bit of a higher score because uh, I, I think you can beat it all in just, just around 30 minutes which is which is normal for a game of this type there see here's the heavy machine gun which is normal for those old NES games like this but uh, I, I would have loved to had more from it and I wish it would have had online co-op but I know how expensive those servers can be you see the levels you got different styles you got different traps you know, it's just all kinds of, it's just like a little bit of everything. It's never repetitive, it's never boring. Different enemy types, you got to adjust to how they attack. You have some that shoot, some that throw grenades, some that try to stab you. See, look at this, here we're in a boat, tell me this isn't badass. You know, it's just something different, it just keeps changing. Like, every level is different, it, it never feels the same. Sometimes you're going up, sometimes you're going down as far as your platforming, sometimes you're going sideways like you see here. It like it just never uh, 
sticks to one certain thing and it feels like so many classic titles like uh, if you can think of a cl uh, classic uh, NES game you know it's probably covered here you know it's, it just got has everything and it's just so much fun I, I, I can't wait to play this with someone and see how it is with somebody uh, I'd say with 20 men you should be able to beat it easy though like to get the different endings but even if you can't you're still gonna get all the achievements there's a survival mode see like this is cut like this is sort of like uh, the shmups they call them the shoot 'em ups you know it just got something for everybody every game type of the classic retro games it's probably one of my favorite modern retro games especially this year it's definitely one of my favorite Red Alecky published games I uh, this is one that's going to stay in my collection. I know I'm going to come back to it. It's just a ton of fun, and uh, hopefully you try it out. Hopefully you like it as much as I do. Hopefully maybe they get some online co-op and we can play together. I like to play with some of my friends as well, you know, because this is this is a good uh, co-op game. This is one of those ones. If someone's asked me uh, for good co-op games, I would definitely recommend this one. And 4.99, come on, man, well, you you can't get that many good games like this for five dollars I know Red Alecca releases a lot of them but this is one of the better ones and it's hard to believe that this is only five dollars and right now it's on sale if you get it within the next ten days I believe it's only uh, three ninety nine so you can't beat that see look at this every it just changes every level is different every level is unique there's tons of different guns and uh, definitely pick it up look at this it got lasers just it just changes so much it, it just feels so much like contra commando all those classics so uh grab it let me know what you think leave me some comments don't forget to sub and like because that's what helps us get more games whenever uh they see that we're out here sharing their art and people are enjoying watching it they're going to give us more and we're definitely going to load it up and you can watch it and uh, i love hearing from you guys you've been talking to us a lot lately I love getting the comments. It's a lot of fun uh, answering them. I answer every single comment if I see it. If I don't see it, more than likely I missed it, and I apologize. But uh, I, I definitely want you to grab this one if you love old NES games, because if you do, you're going to love this one. The music's fun. The art style's cool. Just everything about it's just really, really badass. 8.2 out of 10. Pick it up. Don't miss out on this one if you love old NES retro games. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for support. You know, like I say always, seen the leaderboards.